After a season that began in December, it all came down to championship Saturday tonight for high school basketball players. Fox 12's Nick Krupke is in studio tonight. And he's got more on the trophies that are handed out in what? Forest Grove and University of Portland, And yeah, right? he's had to go watch both feeds from our guys on the scene in Forest Grove and at UP and put them all together, and here we are. How good is basketball, right? After missing that tradition of March Madness for really two seasons, you got to soak it all in, let it all out. Championship emotions running high up on the bluff. The Purple Palace was a sellout, all out Three Rivers League as well. Nationally ranked number one seed Westland against TRL rival Tualatin. The reigning 6A champs returning to the spot despite graduating four senior stars from last March. Now three of the T-Wolves losses this season for new head coach Bubba Levin, word of the Lions, and fellow first year head coach Robert Key. To be the champ, you got to beat the champ. The T-Wolves howling out of the gates. 12 to 1 after the first quarter. Jaden Stepp wasn't about to have a fourth loss to the Lions on his watch. The big man, a first half double double. He had a game high. Peyton Pritchard of the Boston Celtics was in the house. Jackson Shellstad on that same NBA path. Gatorade Player of the Year again. He'll hoop for Team USA next month at the Hoop Vest Hoop Summit at the Rose Quarter. 12th and went into halftime up 30 to 16. A buzzer beating three in the corner from Jack Wagner. Who say that? Well, the Wolves say that it would be a seven point game with less than four minutes to go. Hang on or rally time. How about a little bit of both? Josiah Lake has been kind of slept on a bit his whole career. Lake show steal and slam and let that party return to the den. Then step doing a little rim rocking before the night would be out. What a night for Jaden to Walton. What a night. Title town again. 60 to 47 back to back champs taking one of four from West Lynn, but this one's the one they'll always remember, right? Best always and forever in the Oregon 6A class of 2023. I mean, underdogs, right? Um, it's something, you know, even before last year, you know, Tolton wasn't really on the map. Nobody really believed us. And last year we got on the map, and then now this year we were, uh, no one picked us to win this game. I feel like we just, that gave us motivation to work harder and practice every day outside of practice and just get oh, it. And congrats to Coach Lemon, his granddad of the Harlem Globetrotters legendary fame, Metal Art Lemon. Congrats as well to the legends of Lincoln High, carrying back a third place trophy to the nest as Heather Seely Roberts becomes the first woman to lead a 6A boys team to a state tournament trophy. And the girls took center stage on Saturday afternoon. The final featured two teams that could very well meet again for round two of this heavyweight battle next March and then maybe again in 2025. Fifth seed at Clackamas, the youngest team in the state a year ago. The Cavs, who start three sophomores, grew up from the final four a year ago, making their deepest runs of 2011. The second seed of South Bedford Panthers won it all back in 2012. They have six freshmen in heavy rotation. The red and black spearheaded by the two-time Gatorade Oregon Player of the Year, Jazzy Davidson, the highest rated recruit in the country for 2025. She had foul trouble, but not 12 points, two blocks, two steals, 19 minutes. South Medford loves the press, loved the trap. It worked for a while. Donovan Hunter, she's going to be a senior star going to Oregon State. She had 15, South Medford briefly into the lead. Clackamas, though, all about that team ball. The senior, Ryan Mogul, the gorgeous goal ball to a cutting Avery. Peterson, sophomore slashed it, made it 31-19 Cavs in the third. Mogul, so good, her first full season back from a torn MCL. The future Portland pilot took command on her next home court. The oldest of three Mogul sisters, game high 18 points, two assists, blocks, steal five boards. She transferred from LaSalle two years ago with Eliza Burke, another gem of a senior leader there. The Davidson bound center can let fly from deep. Burke with two of the main three pointers from either side all day. Cavs played with their cushion, eventually put a pin in it and put a win in it. 56-46, Clackamas goes undefeated to the state this season, 27-3 overall. They won 22 in a row to close 2023 at the top of the 6A tree and so cool for their head coach. Corey Landel rocked it for the Cavs as a player and a kid in the 90s. It means a lot. It means that goals that were set early on got accomplished this year. Uh, it wasn't easy. We had a lot of bumps in the road, and the girls really just figured out how to do this together, and uh, that's been kind of something that we've been saying that we really just have to stick together, and, and we can do amazing things, and we proved it. I think it's super cool, especially like it being the first one for our community. It feels really special. We had everybody come out and support us and be able to get it done for the people who stood by us all year long. It just feels really good. Just staying composed, uh, doing what we do, not letting their pressure speed us up because they have really good full court defense um, and just knocking down our free throws. That was huge. It means everything. This team is really special to me and we're all
all like sisters, and it's just been really cool to have this experience with them. Yeah, Clackham is strong all along on 311. They're 53 and 7 last two years. Mogul and Davidson joined Hunter along with third place Jesuit Sophia Bell and Barlow's Kennedy Shula in the all tournament team. What an amazing year for girls' hoops in State 6A. Joe Moran Court at Forest Grove High was the host side of the 4A final yet again for the first time since the pandemic. So good to see that. So good to see a number one and a number two chasing down that 4A title dream. Top seeded Baker, just, you know, 330 miles from home. Second seeded Gladstone, 42 miles away from Forest Grove. The Gladiators and their eight seniors, a mix of up-tempo offense, pressure-packed defense. Reem Jekyll, so good, nodded at 13 apiece after that first quarter of play against that Baker City zone. The Bulldogs roll out six sensational seniors, including their captain, Josie Ramos. She scorched the strings for 16 in the first half, 28 and nine boards on the night for Josie. A three-point Bulldog lead at halftime, but Annie Hankins did her things. The senior, the Gladiators, had 23. Ripped down six boards, dished out four. She was feeling it. But here came more from Macy Moore on the floor for Baker. Buckets, little bump, and get it to go. The band of girls from Baker munching there for 16 at Eminem. They were up seven after three. Here, though, came the Glads under two to play. Sam Jedrowski with a game time triple, 52 all. But Baker, the Bulldogs clutch up with a charity stripe down the stretch. They had 20 freebies on the night, 60 to 56. Baker Championship City again, just like 2019. The dogs got bite and that big blue trophy to bust back at the house 330 miles and protect for another year. It's just really a blessing to uh, get this opportunity. I'm so grateful. It's a great way to end my senior year. All the seniors, we've been playing together for about eight years, so it's just really great. We've been working for it for a long time. We are working so hard for this, and it feels awesome that we have finally accomplished it. it feels amazing. Big time props to all. Baker goes 24 and 2. Gladstone, that hard earned second place trophy, 23 and 5 out of that Tri-Valley Conference. How about the 4A boys final from a near capacity crowd in Forest Grove? What a pairing here. Third seeded Cascade, 23 and three, out of Turner. The Cougs also the defending state champs. Number one, Philomath, up from the Mid-Valley. 22 and four Warriors lost to the Cougs in their Oregon West Conference rivalry during the regular season. Ty May, mother may I, touched the rim. Tie the follow slam. Boy, it was tied all night. Cascade then shooting some arrows. Make it rain with the blonde bomber. Spencer Horn sounds off. Cascade up 21-20 at halftime. Landon Knox, the other money man on the championship Saturday for the black and gold. Let the good time roll in Cougar country. 61-52, earning that ultimate prize. Make some room on the wall in the trophy case for 2023 for all time keeps. And a great day to be in the home of the Beavers Friday night. Number three, Wilsonville, top seeded summit out of Ben from Gill, the 5A final. The Wildcats have been there, done that. Junior Callan Gutridge knows hustle points count the most when you need them the most. Go see Cal ahead of the pack. He had a game high 17. And again, 43 36, Wilsonville holds the storm 21 points under their scoring average. You can call Wilsonville home to the six time state champs, a fifth in seven years. 16, 17, 19, COVID won for two years. Back to back, 22, 23 under head coach Chris Roach and the boys from the 9 7 0 7 0. We've been the last seven, one lot. We've won five, five of those. And, you know, it's just it's a special thing we got going here, and it's all because of Coach Roach. The thing that makes these great is that the experiences of those kids involved. You know, it's all about these kids, right? And so, like, I think of all these things, and I always just think about those kids. Hang the banner, frame the bracket, cut the nets, and be known as 5A Oregon champions forever and all time from Friday night. Congrats again to all the winners and players in all the winter sports. And let's spring forward to spring sports. See on the diamond at the track in the field. Live in studio, Nick Krupke, Fox Tough Oregon. Awesome stuff. Thanks, Nick.